Have you seen on the Apple site when you scroll, a video is played and when you scroll up, the video goes backwards? Well, as always, without delay, let's go for training. For this, you must have the Elementor Pro plugin. Create a container and click on Flexbox. If this option is not active in your Elementor and it is like this, you should activate the Flexbox container at the end of the video. I fully explain how to activate the Flexbox container. Set container layout to Flexbox. Set the content width to full width and its value to 100%. Min height should be on viewport horizontal and its value depends on the width of the video. If your video is 16 by 9, a value of 175 is fine. Now, from the advanced tab, we set the margin and padding values to zero, so that if there is a value by default, it will be deleted. We add the video element to the container and select self-hosted option from the drop-down menu in front of source and if you want to post a video from an external link, you can use the external URL option, but if the video is in WordPress media, select it from here. You must turn on the mute option and to hide the controls, you must set the player controls option to hide. From the advanced tab and the motion effects section, set the drop down menu opposite sticky to top and turn on the stay in column option. This makes the video stick to the top of the screen when scrolling and stays there until the end of the column. In order not to make the video too long, I copy the texts I prepared in advance and put them here. At the bottom of the page, add an HTML element to the page and put the codes that I gave you in the description inside it. Congratulations, you have succeeded in making this interesting scrolling video. If you want, you can import all this information through JSON file. By the way, I didn't forget to teach how to activate the Flexbox container option. You need to set active from the WordPress dashboard and Elementor submenu. Settings section and from the Features tab, select Active of the drop-down menu in front of the Flexbox container option. If you like this tutorial, please like the video and subscribe to the Percent Tutorial channel for more tutorials.